You are about to hear real people reliving traumatic customer service experiences for the first time. What you're about to see is not a news broadcast. These are honest portrayals of real online reviews. Be ready to see humanity at its worst. Aficionado, Grant Dean knows a thing or two about coffee. So he, of all people, knew that the weight he had to endure at Continuum Coffee was plainly an obstruction of justice. I only decided to start a timer after three minutes had passed. Yeah, three minutes. We hear his retelling and dutifully reenact a harrowing tale of errant sneezes, <laughs> peanut butter lattes, and a bitter taste of slow brewing contempt. Chicago, Illinois, city of broad shoulders and narrow delights. Grant D has worked hard and constant himself as one of the top dogs in the coffee industry. That powerful little bean is his passion. I should start off by saying I work in the coffee industry and have for a couple of years. I'd even say I'm a coffee aficionado. A determined law student, Grant D has become intimately acquainted with the hot drink of his dreams, coffee. I used to go to Continuum Coffee before their facelift. I was a regular, had a lot of good times there. Hey, Grant, you look nice today. You're too kind. Um, <laughs> just the usual, please. Two flowers. Just the way I like them. That was law school. Once you become a big time lawyer, you better not sue us. Only if you skimp on the sugar. <laughs> Grant loved going to continue. This was the third wave coffee shop of his dreams. Late for Kurt's class, Oop. gotta be on the run. <laughs> but just like a college fling, Grant D and Continuum grew apart, their love turning bitter, or as they say in Paris, c'est le fond de le coup. I'm not sure if it was a change in ownership or just incompetent management, but after the facelift, it just wasn't the same. I see a sky with a rain here, car, but I'm running. I see it. Let me just describe my experience in truthful terms. I have a very particular schedule in the morning, but heck, I needed the caffeine. I figured I should give this place another shot. I walk in, the place is empty. There is no one behind the counter. Some guy who looks like he just got done napping emerges from the back. Wonder if I woke him. Uh, excuse me, where's Cassie? <laughs> she doesn't work here anymore. Uh, I'm, I would like my regular, please. So this barista, he finally takes my order. My usual, two pour-overs. You got it, bro. So I'm standing there for a while, expecting to hear my order. And I wait, and wait. And then I think I hear my order, but this guy who ordered after me gets his peanut butter something latte instead. Okay, one peanut butter latte, double whipped cream extreme. Ah, oh, the breakfast of champions. Really? This place has the best Ethiopian drip coffee in town. You're gonna get a peanut butter uh, something extreme latte? Mm -hmm. Yeah, good, good for you. Excuse me, excuse me, hi. Uh, I'm still waiting for my coffee and I ordered before that, ma'am. It's a sophisticated process, dude. At this point, it has been about five minutes. I say about because I only decided to start my timer about three minutes in. This is nuts. I've been waiting for at least six minutes and I know the machines they use. There's no way it should have taken longer than two and a half. He finally makes one of the two coffees. Okay, one pour over. Hi, me, 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 mine, thank you. Finally, I had gotten one of my two coffees. But then, as he started making the second one, <laughs> Huh? 
This guy just blew his nose into his hands without washing them. And don't forget, the average V60 takes three to four minutes. That means on top of the initial wait, I have to wait eight more minutes for my two coffees. It took so long that one of the other patrons expressed concern for my dog, who was patiently waiting outside for me. Excuse me, someone left their dog outside and the dog is clearly in pain or anguish. Uh, hi, it's okay, it's mine. It is hot today and you just left it outside? I, mean, I can see that you're having a fun time in here, but I'm seriously concerned for the well-being of your dog. Thank you, but this is their fault. You can see this. A pour over takes three or four minutes, okay? And they're working with the A60 machine for Pete's sake. I... Yeah, so I left my dog outside. I forgot all about him. I made a mistake, sue me. <laughs> There's a lot to unpack there, but I'm just gonna go. Shame. It's been hotter. I'm still waiting for my second cup of coffee. And even though there's only one other person in the place, the barista let the shot die in its cup for over a minute. Where's Cassie? She doesn't, she doesn't work here anymore. She doesn't work here anymore. She doesn't work here anymore. Once you become a big time lawyer, you better not sue us. Peanut butter latte, double whipped cream extreme. I had to wait 12 minutes for my two coffees. 12 minutes! That's just unacceptable from a third wave coffee shop. Okay, one Americano for Karen. I'm sorry. I, hey, I, hey, I'm Karen. You're not Karen, I'm Karen. <gasps> I'm calling the police, dude! Oh, the nerve. I can't even believe I even got out of there. Excuse me, thank you. I don't think that's his dog. Please. Stories like this break my heart. A man who has a serious passion, a love for squeezing hot juice out of a little bean, only to be utterly disappointed in its wake. But if we can learn anything from this messy, lugubrious tale, Dog. it's that time always catches up to you. He is currently on trial for petty theft, animal abuse and for disturbing the peace. Hands behind your back. Oh, order two pour overs. Yeah. I mean, 12 minutes yep. for two uh -huh. pour overs. So, yep. Oh, you're so mm. That's the sweet taste of justice being served. Yep. Yep. I'm gonna assemble the grand jury, yep. yep. and you're gonna on. never come let on. this happen. If you're gonna blow your nose, wash your hands. It's disgusting. That should be illegal. Ah!